welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking JJ's Way. So today I'm going to be making an Alfredo sauce. Now there's lots of different recipes for Alfredo sauces out there, um, but I'm going to show you my way of doing it, which is simple, fun, creative, and exciting and fresh. Now I'm going to make this really exciting by adding three different kinds of meats. Um, I'm going to do chicken, shrimp, and some calamari. A little lemon to squeeze on the shrimp. We have our milk, We've got our butter, salt, pepper, bell pepper, garlic, some cremini mushrooms, little baby portobellas. The pasta is linguine, a nice, hearty, dense pasta. And then I'm going to put in there some dried sage, nutmeg, the star of the show, and a little red pepper. We're gonna garnish all of that with some of this beautiful fresh basil right here. Smells so good. Love fresh basil. Isn't that pretty? Nice big bunch. First, we're gonna season our chicken with a little salt and pepper. So season this side, and then we'll season the other side once we throw it in the pan. So we're gonna drizzle our pan with olive oil. Make sure it's nice and coated. Season side down. We're gonna let that sear until it's nice and crispy and it'll you'll be able to flip it over easier. You don't want to try to pick it up right now because it's gonna stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so the chicken's nice and crisp on the on the one side, so we're gonna flip it over. Look at that, it's gorgeous and let the other side cook. All right, so we've seared up our chicken, cover it with the lid, let the moisture stay in there to keep the chicken moist and let the chicken finish cooking inside of here. You wanna lower your heat to a low temperature, like a simmer. Don't keep it on high, because you're done searing. Now we need to slice up our calamari. Tubes, these are called tubes, calamari tubes, squid tubes, so we're going to Slice these up into those little rings that you're probably used to seeing for the uh, fried calamari. And let's throw our calamari in. Are we ready? Ooh, yummy, delish. Right in there. Give it a mix. How beautiful is that? We need to throw our shrimp in now, too. A little more salt. I love zest of lemon, citrus, any citrus. It just brightens everything up. All the essential oils are in here. Squeeze that in. It's really just gonna freshen up the whole dish. That was a pretty juicy lemon. I think I'll just do half of a lemon. Give it a mix again. Everything looks happy and yummy. Okay, this all looks great. Now I want to um, put my chicken back in here. And turn off the heat. We're gonna cover our pot. We're gonna pop this into our oven that's been heated at 200 degrees. I'm gonna turn off the oven so it just stays warm. Let's put this on back here. High heat. Pop that on, let it come to a boil. Now we're going to saute our mushrooms and our bell pepper. Medium, medium high heat. And we're going to slice our bell peppers and get that going. 
This is how I like to slice. Cut the lid off, cut the bottom off, make a little incision there, and we're just gonna go around with it. Open it up. And then we are going to just slice it up. And slice it. And we're just gonna saute these nice thin slices of red bell pepper and some olive oil. All right, now we're gonna throw our thinly sliced red pepper into the pan. And it's gonna bring out the sweetness of the red bell pepper. Season it. Have to season every layer. A little salt, a little pepper. Actually, I'm gonna lower the heat just a tad to like a medium, medium low. Now we're gonna slice our mushroom. We have our um, little baby Bella's cremini's, and just slice it up. This is gonna add a wonderful, hearty, earthy flavor to the sauce. And check out our red peppers. They're smelling good and they get this nice, crisp saute to them. So we're gonna throw our mushrooms in there now. Now mushrooms have a lot of water, so I wanted to crisp the bell peppers up first. So let's get these in. It's gonna make a nice sauce. See how perfect they look? mushrooms and bell peppers in this little bowl and set them aside so we can get to work on our Alfredo sauce. I'm gonna show you how to grate fresh Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Pop on your grater. You're actually gonna put the lid on it, on it the right way. Watch, put this in there to hold it. And we're just gonna chop. And oh, voila freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Mm. Oh my God. Fresh grated Parmesan cheese is the best. But it only took a few seconds. We are going to heat the pan up. Kind of a low, because we're dealing with milk here. We don't want to burn it. I need to get my nutmeg, which is a very important part of um, white sauces. Traditionally, they put a lot of nutmeg in white sauces. I am going to drizzle the pan with a little olive oil and of course, butter. We've got about maybe a third. Switch that around. I can already smell the butter. I'm gonna add a little sage to this. I just love the way sage tastes and smells. It's one of my favorite herbs, so I cook with it a lot. Alfredo sauces can be a little plain. Um, I like to just give the palate a nice little kick with a little red pepper flakes. Not too much. You don't want it to be super spicy because it is supposed to be creamy. Just a little punch to it. There's nothing like the smell of freshly grated nutmeg. Take a little grater. Nothing to it. So easy, so simple. Worth all of the flavor. See that nutmeg? <laughs> Isn't that pretty in the inside? I'm going to turn the heat down a little. So those herbs and seasonings have infused into the oil and the butter. Now we want to add the milk. I'm using 2% milk to cut down on some of the fat. I I like the cheese to stand out and not get overshadowed by heavy creams, but we're going to thicken it with our cornstarch. So it's going to be delicious and you're not even going to be able to tell that we're not using heavy cream. I'm going to pour my cornstarch, it's about one tablespoon of cornstarch, into the milk. This is room temperature milk. Mix that around in there. And then we're going to add it to the butter seasonings. We're pouring this into the butter and the herbs. It's smelling good. So we're 
going to let this thicken. Okay, now I hear my water boiling for the uh, linguine, so I'm going to get the lid off of here. It's the only time to add flavor to pasta, so salt it. You won't go wrong. So we have about a half a pound of linguine in here. We're going to serve about four people, so half a pound. Now we're going to toast up some bread in the oven. So let's get our oven turned on to about 300 degrees. I see that my sauce is coming to a boil here. I'm going to give that a quick whisk and turn it down to low. Take it off the heat. I'm going to calm down some here. Mmm, I can smell the nutmeg. Wow, so good. Let that simmer and I'm going to slice up this bread. This is a rosemary, hearty, earthy, rustic bread. Now I'm going to drizzle it with some olive oil. Break up the pieces. Get it down in there. Hit it with a little salt. And I'm going to hit it with a little garlic powder. And toss it in the oven. Now we're gonna get our uh, chicken, shrimp, and some calamari out. We need to drain the noodles. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. And now for the cheese. God, this smells good. I'm gonna save a little for garnishing. Delicious Alfredo. I love garlic, so I don't mind it being a little fresh. So I'm gonna use my nice little garlic press. It's gonna get all the nice oils out. If you add it in last minute and it's fresh like this, you might not wanna use as much because it is gonna be strong. So good. Take your knife and just scrape that garlic right off into there. Let's get our mix into our sauce. This way it sort of melts in there. And there you go, a nice homemade, creamy, fresh, creative Alfredo sauce. Now let's put everything together. Okay. So what you want to do, which makes a beautiful thin ribbon-like basil, is line all your leaves up like this, inside of each other. Okay, so let's get our chicken out of the pot. Set it on the cutting board. So we're going to add the shrimp and calamari into our Alfredo sauce. I'm going to grab my slotted spoon so we don't get too much of the sauce, even though it's delicious. You don't want your Alfredo sauce to be too watery. Now let's slice our chicken up. Make thin little slices. There's one. Now we're going to plate this up. Get a nice little size portion of pasta. Mmm, -mm. how about that creamy sauce? I think that looks good. A couple pieces of chicken. Mushroom and bell peppers. Some bread. Beautiful color. Basil. Voila! You got to give this. Alfredo sauce to try. It's really, really delicious, fresh, creative, fun, exciting. But go check it out. Cookingjjsway.com. Thanks for watching.